Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. I have only posted one video so far, so assuming that you've seen that, that will have been my welcome to my YouTube channel video. Um, today is actually pretty exciting for me. We are actually getting ready to go to one of my very best friend's birthdays uh, in Cluj Napoca. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with Romania, it is um, medium sized um, city in like the center north part of the country um, it's very cute it's very um i don't know how to phrase this but it's just picturesque let's say um, and i always enjoy going there as i said it's my very best friend's birthday so we're very excited to see him haven't seen him in a while because pandemic covid you all know this i just thought i would take you along with me. What I'm doing now is getting ready to pack. Today is Thursday morning. Uh, we are going to leave on Friday morning, so I just thought I should get a head start, put some things together. I really hate packing last minute. It freaks me out and gives me so much anxiety, so I don't want to do that. Um, and today I is a work day for me, so I have to put some makeup on, look presentable, uh, but not too crazy. I am not good at makeup at all. I just really love it. And I've started watching uh, Soph, uh, previously Soph Does Nails. She's so lovely. I have been working from home for the past three plus years at this point. And my, honestly, most often people don't actually see my face it's very seldom that i would have to kind of show my face so then oftentimes like i would say 80 percent of my week is makeup free so again for someone who doesn't has have to do any makeup i own quite a bit um but that is just because I like having options, I like trying things out, if we go someplace nice, I like to experiment and I like to see what I can do. I will just jump straight into it and show you what I'll be packing with me. I will try to also do my makeup at the same time, which is why, again, I look like this. Um, but it might have to be a bit off camera, I am still very new to this, so, you know bear with me <laughs> and then uh, just see where we where we go um so yeah if you want to stick around for this Cluj weekend getaway stay tuned the first thing that i will be putting on my face um yeah just have to say i use uh cerave to wash my face which i've done before i started filming i'm having a lovely hormonal um acne situation going on so that's always fun love some acne um but yeah so having said that the first thing that I will, I will be putting on my face is the honey dew me up primer from nyx uh, i will include a little photo a little close-up of it i'm sure you've um, seen it somewhere if you're a makeup fan if not it's very um tacky um it is the type of primer that it's not, it's not poreless. I really hate the primers that have poreless on them because they're very silicone usually. And for some reason, I don't know if it's my skin reacting with them or what it is, but they just kind of bunch up and go a bit weird on my skin, especially after a while. You can kind of see there's a different texture um, and I, I don't really like them at all. Um, however, this is working really well. Uh, I've tried it with um normal foundation uh, and with bb creams as well at the moment my favorite one is the l'oreal oh uh, this is bad something paradise i will put a photo of it here just so you can see i can't remember the exact name so sorry about that uh but yeah so i will be putting this on and then i will get back to you i'm feeling very uh youtube beauty influencer at the moment quite fun have to say don't forget your neck i know like this has been going around for so long and everyone keeps banging on about your neck but that is very important what i'll be using to do that is the uh, true skin foundation by catrice and this is a brand that um i'm not so sure if it's very popular in romania i just kind of noticed it in a dm which if you 
uh, in Eastern Europe, in Germany, you are probably familiar with. Um, it's a um, kind of drugstore type uh, shop where you can get makeup, you can get a bunch of stuff, but mostly makeup. Um, so I, to be completely honest with you, I have never used anything else by Catrice. The only reason why I picked this up was because I um, saw a video, I think it was Tati's video on this and she was super excited uh, to, to wear this and try it on and she really loved it. So I thought this is very affordable. I can't remember what I paid for it, but it was very cheap. Around, I would say five or maximum six euros. So that is really good <laughs> for a foundation. You can see it's full size. This is a glass bottle. It looks really like bougie, so I like that about it. Um, but even beyond that, um, I think it just looks so nice on the skin. It's just hydrating. It, it makes it look like your skin but better type thing. And I don't really like heavy foundations. I don't like feeling it on my skin if that makes sense and this does not do that at least for me i am speaking from personal preference and personal experience um as i was saying i haven't tried a million products so i can kind of give a bit more of a technical review this is just what i've noticed so um i do have oily skin especially in my t-zone um so i know hydrating foundation is not usually used for um people who have oilier skin i just enjoy this one i would rather have something that is not like drenching my skin from every bit of <laughs> hydration it has i would just rather have something that is a bit more hydrating and then putting some powder over the top of it and call it a day so i will be putting this on my face i don't know if i'll include this in the video or not based on the faces that i will be making but yeah i will come back in a sec i'm just coming back with all of this on my face um just wanted to say um a little bit about the brushes i'm using um they are not very professional i don't think um i got them a few years ago now so it might be time to actually swap them but you know uh we'll get to it when we get to it i'm not in a rush uh so these are from jessup which is not a brand i had heard before purchasing these however they are quite like good quality um they are a lot of them in here um i don't really know exactly how many but you get your face um brushes your eye brushes you get a little spoolie as well i think uh, i'm not sure about that but anyway um so i just thought they are really good quality and i have recently been uh, getting more into using brushes for my base as well i used to swear by um sponges beauty blenders stuff like that mostly beauty blenders to be honest with you it's just in situations like now when i forgot to go and put my beauty blender under water i will be using a brush um so yeah if you um want to give give these a go uh, i got them from pink panda um and i think they still have a bunch of other sets by this brand as well so you can go on there and kind of um get yours they're really good quality and they were quite cheap as well this was early when i was just starting getting into makeup so i didn't really want to spend all that money on expensive brushes when it might not i might not have enjoyed it so this is why i got these but they turned out to be quite good so um i do recommend them if you want to give them a go i'll go and you know put this actually on my face there you go Sorry, um, if that took a second, I will try to include a little like sped up version of what I've just been doing. But as you can see, this is very your skin but better side look, which is kind of my favorite. So now for my concealer, I am using the Rimmel Lasting Radiance and a very important note, I worship Robert and James Welsh like how could you not so Robert is very adamant 
about not using so much concealer and I stand by that so I practice that in my life in my in my daily life so that's what I'll be doing because this is the my exact color shade I don't need to cover my entire face and the area underneath your eyes is super sensitive so you shouldn't really be putting so many things there uh, so that's what I'm I've been doing for a while honestly ever since Robert said that in a video I said yes I will cease all such activity and I have so as you you know I just put it there and I put it there and I will blend it and that will be it uh, so very simple I'm using the same brush as my foundation don't judge me it's just uh, easier for me because I think they also combine and make it a bit more um, natural looking I don't want it to be like obvious that I have so much stuff on my face and it's not like it went away they um, are now covered of course you can obviously still see my little bump but what can you do um, yeah so that's that uh, next up I will be doing powder I don't like to bake I don't like translucent powder I know it's like a big no-no to use to use pressed powder for me however is very annoying to use loose powder and I fi find it so difficult and I never kind of got into it so yeah maybe I will try um, you never know but what I'm using and what I've been using for a while I think it's a few years because this is a repurchase so is uh, the L'Oreal Infallible so I'm just going to put in a bit more powder there For my bronzer, I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer uh, in light. <laughs> it's literally, um, yeah, the lightest shade they make. Uh, this, as you know, smells so good. Honestly, it's it smells amazing. So I am just using this on my cheeks a little, little bit, um, just to make me look a bit more alive. That's done. My next step is usually a blush so this is by wet and wild it's literally stuck together with um tape because it came broken um so i had to be very creative and fix it because i couldn't use it otherwise so i did and it's very rudimentary and bizarre but you know, you do what you have to do. Uh, this is a nudist society and it's just, I think the basic, literally the basic uh, blush. I just like it because it is so sparkly. Like, yeah, wasn't expecting all of that sparkle in it, uh, which kind of makes my highlighter a bit redundant just because if I'm in sunlight, I look like Edward from Twilight. It is quite crazy. But what can you do? I mean, I'm not mad. It's, it still sparkles, so like it makes me happy, but sometimes I tend to blind people. <laughs> Joking. But you know, it's just a bit intense. Uh, again, fluffy brush, just dip in it and then do like... I go, again, per Robert's recommendations. I don't know if I'm very good at this, but this is what I'm attempting to do. So from out in, I don't smile because a very good point that he made is that you don't spend your day smiling, do you? So then if you put your blush too high up, you kind of look insane. So yeah, I will just go like out in and call it a day. So I try to place it a little bit over the top of where I place my bronzer, but also kind of swish swish so they mix together and I don't have lines on my face. A very little amount of, of blush so that you can again bring life into, <laughs> into today because I just yeah. The next step I will be doing is highlighter. Now for this I have a bit of an unorthodox method, uh, not method but like tool let's say. So this is a Ted Baker very tiny quite fluffy brush. And I know you usually for highlighter you do like a tiny brush so that you kind of have uh, more precision when applying it. Yeah, that's not how I roll. I just like this because I feel like 
I want all of this to be sparkly. Again, Edward from Twilight is me. Um, so I just like that. And then, oh yeah, this is still the Wet n Wild um, highlighter in Blossom Glow. Uh, this is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Um, it's really pretty if you get let me open it so you can see it has a little flower embossed which is so beautiful um, and then it's a pinky um, highlighter this is kind of what I tend to go for pink or golden I don't really like the purple ones or the very bright white like you know the blinding I don't like that I quite like my makeup to be a bit subtle and natural even though the highlight needs to be on point needs to be right there so i will be swish swishing my brush in it and then i'm going just again kind of over like above my blush but also mix in uh, mix with it so i will do it like here and then go up a little bit so just do that back look at that oh, i just tin man love it <laughs> so that was my face done uh, next is eyebrows and as you can see my hair is very black this is obviously fake <laughs> um, it's um, yeah it's, it's currently a bit purple ish not intentional love it though um, if you know me in real life you know I've had a million hair colors so um, this is not surprising to anyone that I have now this going on but that's fine uh, so up next will be my eyebrows and I wanted to say that I as you can see have very strong eyebrows they are very black very dense thick they are just in your face so I don't really like coloring them in um, what I will do is I have this Wet n Wild Mega Clear um, mascara for your eyebrows um, and this is the only thing that I use I again don't like using anything to color them in just because I feel like that makes them even more bold and they stand out like caterpillars and I hate it um, so I don't fill them in any in any way shape or form this is this is literally why I got this in clear because I just wanted something to stick them down to my face uh, but not provide any sort of enhancement of the color so I just literally brush them up and then you know kind of go with the natural shape of them do the other one as well So there you go, especially now that I'm semi-blonde. Blonde was what I was going for and it turned out this purplish hue thing. Um, so especially now, I don't like having two like black, bold eyebrows. So I think this looks okay. I really enjoy this look on me. Um, so there's that. Um, now for my lovely eyes. Um, first thing first, and again, this is coming from Mr. Robert Welsh, so you can't get better than that, honestly, I love him. Um, I will be putting on the NYX um, eye primer. Um, this is just skin tone, this is basically doesn't, it's not supposed to have a colour, it obviously does, but it's this, whenever you put it on your eyelids, it, it blends in and that's that. Um, and I like to use this, even if it's just, even if I'm putting like one shade of something to do like a wash and go out the house, I still like to have this on just because I have hooded eyelids. So if I put anything on my eyelids or if I put like an eyeliner, it tends to go everywhere and it's driving me insane. And ever since I started using this, I haven't seen that. And I'm loving it for it because that was always my pain point with my eyes I have quite big eyes and then because they're hooded it's just a mess so um, that's why I like using this I just pick it up with my finger you have to I'm swishing swishing around in here and then putting it on my eyelid right that's done giving it a second to kind of dry a little bit 
Um, everything I've used so far is going directly into my makeup bag um, that I'll be bringing with me. Now that my eye primer is okay, um, I will be using Soft's palette with Revolution. I really love this. It's such great quality. I'm sure you've seen it. It's very bright but it also has um, very good like neutral colors. Because this is still a work day for me, I will be doing quite a boring look. You just have to forgive that, but I can't do much else. Um, so I think I will be going into cookie dough and just kind of go everywhere. My crease and eyelid just to have a base. So I will just apply that. Right, hopefully that's even. I will be using Mirabel in my inside corner. I'm sorry, this is a very, very boring, it's not even a lock really, it's just two colors, but you know, what can I do? That's me done. Up next, I will be using this mascara. So this is the Essence Lash Princess. This is not the um, waterproof one. I do have that one as well. So I think I'll bring that with me just because in case it rains, I don't wanna look like a raccoon or a panda. So there's that. But for now, I will be using this. They're exactly the same. It's just this is not waterproof. Um, but it's such a good mascara. I really love it. And I'm very picky about mascara as well. So. Can you see the difference? Let me, there you go. Like, I know it's, ah, oh, look at that. It's just so good. I love that she put a huge mirror in here. Um, it's a bit chunky, so it's not very travel friendly, but I don't care. Um, we're driving there, so I am packing this with me. So there you go. Um, that's my eyes done. And last thing is lipstick. I love matte lipsticks. I think, because I tend to forget I'm wearing them uh, and I forget I'm wearing lipstick in general. I drink many things, I just, it, I always forget to reapply and if it's something that is not mad, it tends to fly away. And then I look weird because like you just get a little bit, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, a little bit of a line on the outside of your lips and you look like you've escaped from a mental, mental institution, which is not a look I go for. So. I really like going for matte lips um, all the time and I love liquid lipsticks for that, obviously matte. Uh, my favorite ones are the um, Rimmel London Stay Matte collection. I love them, I have so many of them. Um, but for what I'm going today, I have this and you know, this is, I feel, pretty like Eastern Europe behavior, but I think it's, a bit funny and I don't know it's kind of part of my childhood as well so bear with me this is from Avon um, from the Mark collection this is in cantaloupe I think uh, there is literally something else written over the top of the shade so I think that's what it is but it's this very like nude color I don't have much left this is it I use this quite a lot so I really like well, how it looks it's a bit satiny but again because I'm indoor today I can kind of I don't have to keep reapplying it there's no one here to really see me so <laughs> it's fine this is just for this particular look so let me apply this and that's that um, so this was the lipstick done um, it's as I warned you before my skill set is not that developed and for today's look i wanted something very natural and kind of basic okay i removed the hairband from my hair and i feel like a person again but yeah subscribe like tick the bell notification um and i will see you in the next one bye